And now today's Money 911. We answer some of your big financial questions from cleaning up your credit report to early withdrawal of money from a retirement plan. Our team has your bottom line. Jean Chatsky is today's financial editor. She's also the author of Money 911. David Bach is the founder of FinishRich.com and the author of Start Over, Finish Rich. And Sharon Epperson is CNBC's personal finance correspondent. Good morning, all. Good, Good morning. morning. All right, now let's get started. We're going to go to Pandora which is kind of like Avatar. Pandora from Aspen, Colorado. Good morning, Pandora. What's your question? Yeah, good morning. Um, I've been divorced for two years, and I have two boys, 11 and 13, and my ex passed away one year ago. I recently ran my credit report and found that my ex neglected to pay several medical bills throughout our 13-year marriage. I don't have any credit card debt, and I've been self-employed for several years. My boys also receive a monthly Social Security check from benefits of their father's death. What's the best way to clear up my credit and establish it, and will this affect my ability to purchase a home? Gee? Um, it, it actually depends how old those medical debts are. Do you know how old, how long they've actually been on your report? How, long, how many years have passed? Um, yeah. It's, is it date open or date reported that you go by? Go by um, date reported. You know, they range from 06, 07, 08, 09. Okay, so here's the thing. Items fall off your credit report after about seven years, and you don't necessarily want to reset the clock on the old ones, which is what can happen if you go in and try to clear up those medical debts. Chances are, because you were married, you are just as responsible for those debts as he was. I would pull a credit score and see how bad it actually is. They're so old that at this point, doing nothing may actually be your best alternative. So go to creditkarma.com or credit.com, pull a report, and, and make sure that you stay on really good behavior by paying your bills going forward. All right, good luck, Pandora. Now we're going to go to Skype. Kelly in Coral Springs, Florida. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Adam. And what's your question for our crew? Um, I have unfortunately been on um, short-term disability for the past six weeks, and I'm planning to stay out until um, through December. My, my husband and I used um, most of our savings account to put me through nursing school. My question is now, should I cash out a small retirement fund that I have? We do have three other larger accounts. I'm kind of not worried about the future as I am now. I always pay everything on time and want to continue to do so. I want to know what the penalties would be for cashing in this retirement fund early, and do they, would they waive any of the penalties for certain circumstances, being, such as being on disability? David? All right, lots there to deal with. First of all, let me start with, I'm sorry you're disabled right now, but here's what you should check on. Check and see if your benefits department has short-term disability insurance. Chances are they do, and you can actually receive benefits from them. They've paid into an insurance plan for short-term disability. You can't yeah, take... You uh, can't, go, go ahead, Kelsey. I'm sorry, I do have that. I'm already on that insurance, but unfortunately, it only pays 60% of my income. Exactly. Okay, so good news is you got 60%. So now let's go. Can you pull money out of your IRA account without penalty for short-term disability? The answer is no. You have to be on long-term disability over 12 weeks with a doctor's notice to avoid penalty. So what I would recommend you do is see if you can actually, if you absolutely have to have money, we almost never say this, but rather than take a distribution from your IRA or 401k or 403b plan, because you're a nurse, you've got a 403b plan, you could take a short-term loan. So I go back to your benefits department and look into the rules that they have on your 403b plan and on a worst case basis, take a short term loan because that way you're paying the interest back to yourself. As soon as you go back to work, you can start making payments back on that loan. You'll have no penalty and no taxes. And Kelly, we hope you get better, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. thanks so much. Now let's go to a video question. This one is from Angel from Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Over a year ago, due to me and my wife expecting a new child, I had to purchase a bigger vehicle. My credit score was not the greatest and I had very few options. I ended up purchasing a used vehicle with a very high APR rate, 20%. Soon enough, due to my APR, I will owe more than the car is worth. I still do not have the greatest credit score and I'm trying to prevent this. What would be a viable solution? 
So Sharon, this guy's car is actually underwater like, like a mortgage. Well, that yeah. happens That happens so often to so many people, but what he needs to do right now is try to figure out exactly what his credit score is and how he can possibly refinance perhaps to a lower rate. 20%, that's a horrible it's rate. Yeah, that's it's ridiculous. outrageous. So he can go to CapitalOneAutoFinance.com and there are a lot of other sites that he can go to to try to see if he can refinance. The other thing to think about is if he refinances, he wants to make sure he probably hasn't had that loan for more than about 12 months or so because if Again, it's going to extend the terms and he's going to have to pay off for a longer period of time. But knowing that you're underwater, it doesn't necessarily hurt your score. That loan to value on your car is not on your credit report. The issue is that he doesn't want to fall behind on other expenses that he has. All right, Gene Chatsky, David Bach, and Sharon Epperson, thank you so much. For those of you on the East Coast, Gene is going to be dishing out some more financial advice for the next hour on our website, todayshow.com. So check it out. And coming up, Sarah and Todd Palin about